Welcome to another round of my little Git Adama series. Today I have of course something special for you. It's also very special for me because um, this is a very, very rare, I mean very, very, very rare guitar from Gibson. Yeah, the professional amongst you may already noticed and raised their eyebrows. Uh, because this is a original vintage 1959 Flying V, which was shipped uh, early 1960. The story goes like that. Uh, in 1958, Gibson came up with this Flying V together with the Gibson Explorer, with very futuristic guitar models for that time. And uh, yeah, uh, they were they were so much ahead of their time that people, the musicians, rejected this design as too fancy or something like that. So. Only a few numbers of these guitars uh, were built and shipped. So in 1958 there were 81 Flying Vs shipped, in uh, 1959 only 17. And um, yeah, someone late uh, 1959 it was decided to discontinue uh, this guitar altogether. So it happened that uh, from leftover parts in, uh, from the 1959 model, um, around about 20 guitars were shipped uh, early 1960. And this is one of these guitars. So it is shipped in 1960 but made from parts uh, from 1959. So you can say it's a 1959 or 1960 uh, Flying V, whatever you like. It's a very special guitar. Uh, um, it has this two piece uh, Corina wood uh, body. It has uh, a, a massive Corina neck, a wonderful rosewood fretboard. It has no binding. And uh, yeah, 22 frets. This is a very special guitar, and uh, actually, I, I already uploaded a video of this guitar, but it's I think nine or ten years ago. I thought I'd do another video of this guitar uh, with better recording quality so that I can share my emotions better with you. The electronic construction of this guitar is uh, similar to everything you know from Gibson. I mean, two PF humbuckers, which sound like PF humbuckers from that era. They're also um, somewhat microphonic. Um, you have two volume controls, one from the neck, one for the bridge pickup, and one uh, shared tone control. Uh, interesting uh, for this guitar is that the knobs here have metal heads, and uh, the tunomatic bridge features nylon saddles. So they're not from metal, they're from nylon, as you can see here also in the detail. There is an interesting book available where as you can see here in the detail, uh, many guitar lovers uh, read and check out if the specifications are right and everything. Uh, and as you can see here in this picture detail, exactly this guitar here is depicted. This guitar is from that book, uh, which just proves it's, it's an original. Um, as you can see here, the, the logo, the Gibson logo, is somewhat damaged and can compare with the picture here in, in the book. It's the same guitar, features the black pickguard, which was um, typically used in the early year, 1958. Yeah, and these nylon saddles, and uh, yeah, all I can say is this guitar is just a dream. It's a dream guitar, because the neck invites you to play I don't know how to put it in words. Uh, it's a fantastic neck. It's a fantastic guitar. And whatever you do, check this out. It has this knick neck going on, you know, it's very sensitive. And when I bring up the volume a little bit. dynamic this guitar isn't it I mean very dynamic uh, the neck pickup is very passy and also very dynamic I, 
I don't want to play the fast licks. I think that you hear how this guitar reacts and it's just a dream. <laughs> you know, if you want, you just leave the note on and it stays on. Uh, you turn a little bit back the volume and it immediately calms down and it's just wonderful. Unfortunately, I think uh, the vocabulary uh, I have left for this guitar is only wonderful. While flying V's are known by players like Michael Schenker or nowadays uh, Joe Bonamassa, um, you always think about rock and roll and about blues played on this guitar, but the real strength of this guitar <laughs> is the clean sound. Or, yeah, the dynamics involved with clean and, 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 and crunch. Um, because the pickups are so microphonic, it's not ideal uh, to play with a 100 baht Marshall, Marshall or something like that because you will fight with the feedbacks. Later in the early 80s, uh, they um, came up again with a flying V, uh, the company Gibson, and um, those were real rockers. Um, but of course, you can rock on this guitar. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no question about it. But before I bubble too much, uh, because <clears throat> To be honest, everything is known about this guitar. Um, it, it's a legendary guitar from the company Gibson. Uh, before I babble too much, I just hit playback and let the music speak um, and uh, jam around a little bit and uh, try to get some sounds out. And maybe you understand what I mean when I say the neck is just wonderful. Uh, this time I will start with a distorted play playback first. Um, because many people expect uh, the rocking qualities uh, and after that I calm down and uh, I give you an example of the uh, clean and a little bit crunched sounds. So, have fun! <laughs>
Elvis guitar uh, can rock. Depends also on the player, but it can rock. It makes you sweat. It, it just invites to play. It's it's just a fantastic guitar. Uh, oh, that's all I can say. It's a fantastic guitar. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> it's almost like I feel like seven years old again. <laughs> um, the action on this guitar is just insane. It's in insane. It makes so much fun. So I stop uh, talking bullshit. <laughs> Play with a clean sound. Have fun. And a crunch sound. played uh, today this guitar only over a uh, only over a uh, Houston Kettner Tube Meister 36 so by purpose I, I, I didn't use the normal amps you would expect to play this guitar uh, with the um, ah, tastes are different and I also like to mix vintage stuff with modern amplifiers uh, just to explore more the possible nuances uh, of these wonderful instruments. This guitar offers very, very fine, clean tones, and uh, <laughs> I repeat myself, it's a pleasure to play on this guitar. I don't know how, how to put it in, into words. This is a very, very special guitar. You put it in your hands and it just feels right. And the best is, I'm not lying, since my first playback, listen to that. <laughs> Stay 
perfectly in tune and the intonation is also perfect. A absolutely astonishing the condition for this age, uh, an inspiring instrument. And uh, yeah, of course, I have to say a huge thank you to the uh, owner of this guitar, who was so nice to lend it to me for today. Yeah, uh, I think I'm at the end of my little guitar demo for today. Bye bye.